Hello Battletech fans, this is Travis with Renegade HPG and we are continuing in our series for how to play the Battletech customizable card game online using the Lackey program. In this video specifically, we're going to be talking about how to build a deck which you can import into your game. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do once you open the Lackey program is go to this deck editor tab. And once you're on the deck editor tab down in the bottom right window, you're going to see all of the cards that you have to select from. And you're going to have a filter tool on this bottom left that you can help narrow down those cards. If you install the plugin that we recommend on the Battletech CCG Facebook page, then you are going to have cards for the Battletech Tactics fan made set in addition to all of the official cards from the release back in the late 90s, early 2000s. If you are doing any kind of tournament or if you just want to play with official cards, an easy way to filter out all of those Battletech Tactics cards is to come down onto this tab in the bottom left where it says set filter, you're gonna set it to see anything that doesn't contain BTT. And you can change that anyway. If you wanna play only with Battletech Tactics, you would just say begins with BTT, and then you're gonna get only the Battletech Tactics cards. But for this, we're gonna be setting the stack up for a tournament, an online tournament, and so we're gonna say doesn't contain BTT, and that is gonna give us only the official cards in this bottom right box to choose from. Now I do recommend building your deck offline first using the program called Mordell's Deck Builder that is also available for download in the file section of the Battletech CCG Facebook page, but you can build that deck there and get a printout. We're gonna be putting together the classic Boom Wolf deck, which is the brainchild of Peter Sunholm, the original world champion for the Battletech CCG. And I have that printed out here beside me, which I recommend you do as well. But once you know what card you're going to do, you're going to want to go ahead and use this quick search button here and just start typing in the card that you want. All right, we're going to start with the supports. And in this case, we're going to use eight assemblies. So you just pick an assembly card, whichever version you like or a variety of them and just click on it. And you can either click this eight times or you can also just click it once and then go to the very bottom of the screen and it will give you an option to add one, to add four, to add 10, to subtract one or to subtract all. Now, if you also clip up here, once you have added it to the deck, and this box here is going to be all the cards that are currently in your constructed deck, you can also click on that. And then the numbers, uh, the little tabs here at the bottom of that window will also let you add subtract to that number. And then you're gonna to wanna to continue just adding up all the different cards that are in that deck. We'll do munitions next, followed by tactics. And then we're gonna get in some other cards. We have one think tank that are in here. So you just search, clear the search, type in the name again. It does tend to add a space when you clear it. So you are gonna have to backspace and clear that out before you type in. We have four war funds and then we're gonna search for two black market connections. For the units, we have six Dasher Primes, six Phantom A's, six Phantom B's, and six Fenris Primes. For missions, we have pushing the envelope, two copies, three copies of Superior Navigation, and once you've added those cards, you can kind of keep track of how many cards are in your deck up here in this deck tab, and we'll say 60 cards, so we know we have everything and we didn't miss anything. We also have the sideboard tab, so certainly if you're building this deck for a tournament that you're gonna to wanna to add that sideboard. We'll do that real quick with what uh, Peter played in this championship. Once you have your deck built, you can go ahead and name it. You would put your deck name in here, and then come down right here to save deck. Now, once you have your deck saved, you can come up here to this open tab and there is a down arrow. If you put that arrow, it will pull up all of the recent decks that you've created. Now I've been going through all the decks from the world championships and just pre-constructed them to use for practice. And you can see all those decks listed here. Now, once you have your deck built, you can load it into a game by clicking on this load entire deck to you button. That will automatically bring us back over to the game tab. And so you'll see the game tab up here. And you can also see my username, Renegade Percenter, down here in the bottom left. You can see that the stock file has been populated with 60 cards and my sideboard has been populated with eight. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing my initial hand and then I'll be ready to play the game. We'll cover that in a different video, so definitely stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. Definitely check out the description for links to other videos related to the Battletech customizable card game. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Thanks everybody, and we'll catch you on the next video.